every day as you make financial decisions, ask yourself, am I creating debts? Possibly, am I servicing debts or am I creating wealth? It will limit your consumption level. And I need you to know that I said earlier on that God needed the oil to be multiplied. When the woman, this is a very laid back question, so you should know the answer. When the woman said to the prophet, what I have was, a, was just a pot of oil. Which type of oil were you, were you thinking that they were talking about? Huh? Bottom line, if a woman tells you the only thing I have in my house is oil, it's not organic cream that the woman is talking about. <laughs> the woman is, yeah, you can even red oil. Did they, were they using red oil at that point? <laughs> at least the woman was just talking cooking oil. Whether it's now red or whether it's, uh, uh, we, we, we don't, the woman just said what I had was water, cooking oil. So in, in other English, what I have in my house is for consumption. Then the prophet says to her, that thing that you have for consumption, change your idea about it. You can't keep eating what you have. You can't keep eating what you have. That thing that you have, you, you want to go and pounce on and eat. He says, stop it. You're going to be creating more debts. Stop eating what you already have. Now, that thing that you have, can you channel it into the marketplace? If you keep eating what you have, what you have is there some way that that can be multiplied. Move on my knees, Soko Patala. Zida, and this is beyond, this is just beyond even money. There's something that you have, you're sitting on it. You're eating it. Channel that thing that you have. To the marketplace. There is a raw talent inside of you. Channel that thing to the marketplace. There is a gifting inside of you. When will you use it? Move it to the marketplace. And this one, I want you to understand. This is all. Because the woman said, what I have is good. I just, oh, any pot of oil. Maybe if I use the last one, the last one I'm going to use, I'm, I'm trying to use it to make a, you know, small soup like that, you know, and all that. I'm not even cooking half and I'm cooking white soup so that I don't have to use a lot of oil for it and all. And she wanted to just use the oil. But the Lord said, no, this one is not, listen, there are things that you have, you've been eating that you need to move to the marketplace. Am I talking to someone? There are things that you have. You've been swallowing them. Don't ever give that excuse that it is small. Because even this woman's small pot of oil. Because that's when you're there. I'm waiting for the big one. When the big one comes, they will see the way I'm going to. Ah, when I see the pastor, you see where you say, I know what to do. I'm just waiting for one billion. Nobody will give it to you. Oh, yes, sir. Because what you learned with one million will position you for one billion. Did you hear what I just said to you right now? Because this is what God. And they will I pray, I pray. Put your two hands on your head. I pray. Let the idea. There are things you have now. There, even though they are small. That's why you're not. There are things. There are giftings. There are talent. There is a grace. There, there are, there are, there's unlimited flow in your spirit that you have that you don't. At the sound of your amen. Let the Lord open your eyes to them. May the Lord show you how you will channel them. May the Lord show you how you will channel them. May the Lord show you how you will channel them. May the Lord show you how you will channel them. Right now. 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 Let your amen turn the louder. Take your seat. Don't forget. The thing I said, those children were going to be servicing debt. 
They were going to be servicing the debt that their father created. But with the man of God's instruction, he refocused them to creating wealth. Every day, as you make financial decisions, ask yourself, am I creating debts? Possibly, am I servicing debts? Or am I creating wealth? It will limit your consumption level. As you take and make your financial decisions, Lord, am I creating debt? Am I servicing debt? Or am I creating wealth? People of God, there are some things, if you don't buy them, you will not die. I don't know whether you are getting what I'm saying. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. There are some things, if you don't have, nothing will happen. It is a, listen, at this point, you should know that it's an embarrassment to where God has placed you and your prophecies. When they keep calling you, even in this new year, you have not paid for that hair. You've not, you've not, you've not paid for the hair. You've not paid for the hair. They went, they, they will report you to three of your friends that hey, hey, she could not, she had not even paid for the hair. She had not even. Do you know they have even threatened you that the next time you come out with that hair, they will collect it from you. This is when you believe that hair makes you. This is how you believe that it's all about the hair. Whoever lied to you that you don't look pretty braiding your hair. Did you hear what I just said right now? Some of you are looking at me. I'm not getting that hello again from the women. Listen, every woman here. If you don't have it, don't stress about it. Am I suspecting that the men are the ones clapping this clap? Be, be, because all I want now is to have a generation. No, I mean, make no mistakes about if God has blessed you. I mean, I mean, leave out the blessings of God. But what I am saying is that you're not competing with anybody. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. My financial decisions must come with a question Am I creating a debt? Am I servicing a debt or am I creating wealth? Am I communicating? Please put that at the back of your mind. 